Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my take on a flawless face. Um, I used six steps to get this look and the products that I've used. Starting off with a self tanner, this is Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. Uh, this is my favorite self tanner. I'm going to use two pumps. Um, which is a lot. Usually I only do one pump, but I've got a pretty good tan on my arms on the rest of my body. So I just wanted to match it up a little bit better. So I'm going to bring that all the way down my neck and my chest and just rub it in here and make sure to wash your hands afterwards because they'll turn orange. Just going to pop on a little bit of lip balm here while I do the rest of my face. So I'm going to start out moisturizing my face here after that set. It only takes about 60 seconds for that uh, self tanning mousse to set. So I'm just going to moisturize my face. And now one of the most important steps here, I think, is primer. So you want to have a really good base and fill in any fine lines or larger pores. I'm using a BB cream here, which is kind of like a primer and a foundation, a sunscreen all in one. So it doesn't give that much coverage, so I like to use it as a primer. And now I think the most important step here is foundation. So here I'm using a full coverage MAC um, like a cream foundation. I'm going in with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to work that in to the center of my face. So for this flawless look, I'm going to be using two different shades of foundation, a lighter shade and a darker shade. So this isn't that much lighter um, than my natural skin tone. This matches pretty good. So I'm going to use this as my lighter shade and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade to bronze up my face and contour with it. So I'm going to highlight the center of my forehead, underneath my eyes, uh, my chin, down my nose, everywhere with, that you would usually put a highlighter. I think having a flawless face will make a world of difference um, to complement any kind of an eye makeup look. Uh, if you have a smoky eye, it's going to look a hundred times better if you have a flawless face to go with it. It definitely makes a huge difference. Now I'm going in with a darker shade. This is a really, um, this is a really full coverage foundation that I use it very often. So I'm gonna be um, putting that product where I would usually contour. So underneath my cheekbones, my temples, around the side of my face, on the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna be just pressing it into the skin there with the Beauty Blender, try and get the most natural coverage that I can. So I'm going to take that down the sides of my neck. So I took the, the lighter shade down the middle of my neck and I'm going to take that darker shade down the sides. Really trying to work it back into the hairline as much as possible. Now the next step would be to set everything. Um, some people don't need to do this if you have really dry skin. Um, I th still think that you should set some places like underneath the eyes here, this is using an HD powder. Uh, not recommended at all for photos because it has a really bad flashback, but it's great for filming. Um, so yeah, even if you don't like to set your face all over, I definitely would recommend doing it underneath the eyes so that the product doesn't settle in the fine lines. So I'm just gonna be taking this mineral veil all over my face. I like a really matte look. Um, I like to highlight my face sometimes, but I like to put on that highlighter like where I want the glow to be and not have it glowing everywhere because I have pretty oily skin. So now this is my favorite part of every look um, contouring. So I'm going to be using a matte bronzer here. I'm going to be going in a line here from the top of my ear down to the corner of my mouth, not all the way down, stopping around like the corner of my eye, concentrating most of the product back towards the ear and just blending it in. Really going to help to slim down the face and just give it some more dimension. So underneath the cheekbone is where I like to contour down the sides of my nose, the temples, on the jawline and I like to contour a lot under my chin just to slim down my neck a little bit. Now for the last step, highlight and blush. Um, this is optional. 
but um, I think it's beautiful to add a little bit of highlighter. You can blend it out, you can put a little bit on then blend it out if it's too much, that's what I'm gonna do. So I went in with a blush brush and I just put on the top of my cheekbones um, where that light's gonna hit it and just give more dimensions, make my cheekbones look higher and on the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going with a clean stippling brush here to blend it out a little bit. And now right underneath that highlighter, I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush. I like putting on the highlighter first sometimes just to make the blush blend better and so the blush isn't too shimmery. So I'm just gonna pop that on right in between the bronzer and the highlighter on the apples of my cheeks and working it back in towards my hairline. And that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Thank you.